Minneapolis is now prompting a Milwaukee family to speak out. Prosecutors say their loved ones were killed at the hands of an off-duty Milwaukee police officer. Fox 6's Suzanne Spencer live in Milwaukee with their peaceful yet emotional gathering this evening. Ben and Steph, it was very emotional. This family decided to share their story because of the protests and events happening across the country. The Acevedo family has questions about how this investigation was done and also if anyone else should be held accountable. This is not about violence. This is about what's right. Well, they care. They care and they want justice. Justice for Joel Acevedo heard new voices echoing his name alongside a new name from a state away. Within these 30 days, there's been another police strangulation as we see in the city of Minneapolis. This has to stop. There has to be answers. And we have to hold individuals accountable. The Acevedo family gathering outside the home of Milwaukee police officer Michael Mattioli, the man accused in his death and the location. Mattioli is accused of holding him in a reverse chokehold. This is the first time I'm actually here in front of the house, the last place that my brother was alive, so it's been overwhelming. No justice, no peace. Protesters who traveled across the city stopped at 45th in Cleveland to share their messages of support. When I imagine my son's life. This world as a mother. Oh, Family sharing the agony of a 911 call from in inside that house, saying they believe more people should be held accountable. Your brother is is begging to go home. He's saying, "Please, please, I want to go home. I want to go home," and he's being held against his will. <laughs> Uniting together to make sure Acevedo is not forgotten. I'm glad that we're doing this today to have a voice finally and change the narrative. We will be relentless in using every breath that we have left to call them into justice. Officer Mattioli remains on paid suspension tonight. Ultimately, the decision about his employment will lie with the Fire and Police Commission. It is worth noting after the Acevedo family finished speaking, many of those protesters continued on and as you heard, still continuing tonight, each of them with the, their own reason as to why they're doing so. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Suzanne Spencer. Right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala Yahweh Bashim Yahshah Bahashim Rakwakwadash. The blonde state had apostles a great millstone that rule well and peace and salutation to all the Yakim out there on the highways and byways. Noise in this road abroad all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So pretty much, you know, here it is, there's another death, but this time, you know, it's one of the northern tribes that suffered this atrocity too. And the thing is, a lot of you northern tribes, you know, y'all act like you know some y'all act like that your shit don't stink because you think that you got the you got the complexion for the protection <clears throat> but at the end of the day you know you're nothing but you're, you're just you know the esau look at you you know not as nothing but a spanish speaking nigga you know so you're no different than the so-called negro you know just because you may have lighter skin or you don't you know, look like, you know, the um, the southern tribes, you know. But scripture says that we were all oppressed together, you know. Because, <coughs> because what you... <coughs> because what y'all got to understand is that, <coughs> you know, there's an agenda that's being, t um, that's being put forth. And the agenda is is to wipe you Israelites off the face of the earth. It's to totally destroy you. Esau, he completely wants to destroy you. Why? Because you are of the nation of Israel. So there's an agenda that's being put, put in place. And that agenda is being carried out now. You know, going back to deeds such as Rex 84. You know... Rex 84, the King Alfred's plan, you know, all those deeds that the so-called white man, Mr. Edom, um, put out, 
And specifically in those documents, it clearly tells you like who are the main targets, who are who are pe public enemy number one. And it's you so-called Negroes and you you Hispanics, you know. You're considered public, public enemy number one, you know, according to that King Alfred's plan or that Rex 84. So this is why you're seeing these atrocities being done to you. You know, ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's bringing judgment, you know. But he is using Esau Edom to do it, you know, because Esau Edom is the is is the Lord's whipping stick. And we've been saying this, you know, from the head apostles on down, you know, through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that a lot of you Jakes are gonna end up dying, are are gonna end up falling victim. To these police brutalities, you know, these police killings, you know, such as previous, you know, killings of Jake, you know, such as Oscar Grant, you know, Sean Bell, and uh, and all these other Jakes, Trayvon Martin, you know, and we've been we've been saying this in previous videos that you know that you know a lot of you a um, a lot more of you Jakes are gonna end up dying by the hands of these cops, you know. And from the head of apostles on down, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we always been on point. We always been right, you know. It always comes true because this is not of our doing, but this is of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's. Because we're we're the mouthpiece, we're the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to warn you, Jakes, you know, to turn from your wicked ways and to come back, you know, to the Heavenly Father. And to come back to keeping the laws and rehearsing the righteous acts. But you Jakes, y'all don't want to do it. Y'all y'all refuse, you know. Y'all don't want to take heed. So, in return, this is why the Most High raises up, you know, Esau Edom against you Jakes. You know. And, br and that brings judgment against you Jakes because... Y'all just don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to get right. So the Mosai in return is going to use Esau Edom to bring judgment upon you. And this is what you're seeing right before our very eyes. But anyway, um, let me just jump in the scripture. Because this is what the scripture says. So this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter um, 50, verse 33, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, and they refused to let them go. You see? Here it is. We're, we're oppressed together. We're, we're in this together, you know? The northern, the north and the south, because what the Most High is ultimately, ultimately doing, you know, on the righteous side is that he's bridging the gap, you know. Now, all of us as a tribe is coming back together, you know, as it as it was back in the days of King David and, and King Solomon. You know, the Most High is going to arrange it and bring it back together as before. So you saw... So, you know, you Latin tribes, you're no different than the so-called Negro because we're all brothers, you know. We all come from the same father, which is Jacob. You know, the only reason why there's division amongst us right now is because we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. So the Most High brought that division. The Most High, you know, brought that division for not obeying the law, statutes, and commandments. So, you know, so for you northern tribes, you know, you Hispanic talking to Hispanics and native and Seminole Indians, you know, you're no different than the, than the, than the southern tribe, than the, than the so-called Negroes, you know, even though y'all want to portray yourselves as trying to, you know, fit in with Esau Edom, but the most I'm showing you that Esau Edom, El Blanco is not your friend. 
you know. He's not your friend, he's your enemy. We both have a common enemy, and that's the so-called white man and, and these other nations. You know? So don't think for one split second that you're any different than the, um, than the Negroes. Because the Most High is showing you who your enemy is. The Most High is showing you that the so-called white man, El Blanco, is your enemy. You know, all this protesting and all this marching up and down the street, you know, even though you got agents that are provoking things, you know, and and ultimately got Jake burning down his, his own community. This is nothing but more of an excuse or more ammunition for them, for Esau Edom, you know, Mr. E to declare martial law, because ultimately this is what he wants to do. Because we had a. There was a guy by the name of Michael Mahomely, or whoever he is, that said they cannot wait for the day to get their hands on Jake legally. So pretty much once they bring in the Gerger troops, you know, once they bring in martial law, the National Guard, the Marines, the, the Special Forces, you know, they're coming in in a whole different spirit, you know. Pretty much the Constitution will be suspended. You know, there'll be no rights and it will just be shoot to kill because this is what they want to do. They want to wipe you jakes off the face of the earth. And that's what the, that's the plan, because it all goes back to that Rex 84 and that King Alfred's plan. That you jakes are just public enemy number one talking to you so-called talking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, you know. Because ultimately, it's just going to only get worse from here on, you know? So you just just nip it in the bud because there's no future in this place, you know? All that trying to go to school, college, you know, you could just, you, you could forget about your college education. You could forget all about that. Because what's ahead is, is, is severe judgment upon you upon you Israelites that's what you got to look forward to is, is judgment you know and the Mosai is going to use Esau Edom to bring judgment upon you Jakes you know because right now America is slowly but surely turning into a total police state martial law will be declared there will be no food, no water. You know, it's just evil times. So with that, I just want to make this quick. You know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekwak, Wadash, the one state of apostles, the great most on that rule well. Peace and salutation to the Yaakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad. And with that, I want to say Shalom.